In this video, I'll show you how to insert graphs into your assignments. Now, you can do this two ways. If you're drawing your graph by hand, you can scan it in and insert it that way, or you can create your graph online. And the way I suggest you do that is by using Google Pictures. So you'll have to log into your Google Drive or your uh, Gmail account, your Google Tools, using your VLC email address. That's the one that ends with at virtuallearningapps.ca. Once you're into Google Drive, you can click on the Create option, and you have an option to create a Google Drawing. So in this drawing, you can actually create a template. Uh, search for a grid online. If you just go into Google and search for grid, you'll see a whole bunch of options that come up. Come up. Um, you can actually eventually just click on one of them and drag it right into your Google Drawing. So if I click on this grid, for instance, if I click and drag it to the Untitled Drawing tab, some of them, when you drag them in, the grid lines may be highlighted a little more than others. This one here is fine, so we can click it, drag it in, and there's our grid, make it a little bit bigger. Now, we will also want to insert axes. So we'll take a line, and we'll insert a line across to represent the horizontal and the vertical axis, so the X and the Y axis. Once you have those lines, you can change the size of them as well. So let's change this one to 8. All right, that's a little too big, maybe four. And then we'll do the same with the other line. We'll select it, and we'll change that to four points as well, or four pixels. So there we've got our x and our y axis, and now we've got a template for our graph. We could actually go ahead and include text just to represent the x and the y. So right here, I'll include a text box to say this is my x axis, and I'll include a text box to say that this on top is my y axis as well. And I can move these around if I wish, so I'll click and drag my text box so that they're both right next to my axes. So now that I've got this template, you can actually use this for all of your graphs. So if you click on title, you can rename this and call it maybe your graph template. And now this will appear in your Google Drive. So if you scroll to the bottom, it used to be called Untitled Drawing. Now it's called Graph Template. So now that you have that, you can simply just click and add points to your graph. You can uh, add your own scale as well. So if you'd like to take the text tool once again, and I want to add numbers representing the scale down here. So you can take this and you can say, uh, maybe I have uh, 10 squares to the left, so I'll put this as negative 10. And then I'll go all the way to the other side. And I've got 10 over here, so I'll put a 10 on this side as well, and I'll make sure that that's all the way at the end. So now that I've got my scale, I can do the same thing for the y-axis, and I'm ready to plot some points. So if you want to plot points on your graph, you can simply just take the uh, scribble tool and include points here. Now you can use the scribble tool, or you can go ahead and use something like the, uh, the curve, or insert uh, a circle as a shape if you'd like. There might even be other things that you can use for points. Don't use anything um, too large, but for instance, if you're using a circle, you can use that and click and drag. And you see that represents a pretty decent coordinate on your graph. And then if you'd like to connect the points if you're drawing a curve, then you can do so with this scribble function. 